Fancy meeting you here, motherfucker. Reckon it's time for more strife. Been a little bit. Been a little bit. We're here in administration, a building, an area, a map, a zone I do not remember at all. Spent some time off screen. Call it like three minutes at most. Staring at this map. Wondering where exactly I would go next. Like, if I were a computer core, where would I be? And I'm thinking... Thinking that it's in this section. It's my guess. But, I mean, it could be over here. It could be there. Maybe tucked around over here. So far, we're in stealth. Of course, as the instruction manual warns us, robots are not fooled by that shit. They know who everyone is who's approved and not approved. You know, from the outside, this place looks tiny. Helpful contribution. No! Oh! Oh, that's not good. Fuck it. Fuck it, fine. 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 Fuck you, fuck everything, fuck all of this. Here we go. Not just gonna sit there and fucking eat all of that damage. I should have just sat there and ate all that damage. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm amused how different sections don't get the fucking memo of what's happening. Like, I I equipped... I'm looking at my armor now. I lost half of a new suit of metal armor I slapped on. That's gross. Okay, that lowered that. What does that do for... What does that do for me? This? What does that do for me? gives me a question I don't know how to answer. But involves this asshole up here. takes me down here again. Which, okay. Well, let's go up here. I got a key back there, a core key. So that sounds like it's essential. What the hell did all that shit do that I flipped over there? Other than, like, get me to, like, some prizes and then get me back out. What was the point? What could it mean? Should have known he was aggroed because he was invisible, and of course I killed that, uh... As of yet unnamed enemy... earlier. You fucker. Charge it! Get out of my fucking way! <laughs> Nearly out of flamethrower juice here. I gotta let out some aggro, though. Boy, if this were it, that would be great, wouldn't it? What's going on over here? I'm now treating it like it is it. Great. Let's blow it up. I've blown up the computer. Wonderful. Get me the hell out of here. And into this section. 
any goodies or prizes, because I could definitely use goodies and prizes. Especially if they're suits of armor, because I can't go back to Tarnhill to buy armor, since the armor are closed up. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a surgical kit I'm going to have to leave behind. Plus, I use one to heal 60 hit points. Why am I bothering to fight these guys? I think I'm just looking for, like, an excuse to take more damage. Or, you know, looking for some more supplies. I know I just used these two little med patches, too. I doubt I'm going to come back here. No point agonizing over it, and let's just move on. Ah, oh, no, the wasted resources! Ah! Ah, everything is ruined! Ah. So. That was great. Nope. Really enjoyed that. Save the game. That was... That was all full of joy and wonder and... Well... I got out with most of my medicals. We had to blow our cover there at the end. We didn't have to, I just went into a position where I didn't feel like taking more damage. And obviously this opened up here, and this is the path of the bishop. Just want to see if there's any other, like, things of use or value around here. You sort of jog my memory. I could always check the security zone again. You know, the place that I left before fully clearing that out. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a bit of backtracking this episode. So humor me. Or not. It would be quicker if I just used this to teleport to the entrance. If I left anything of value on my way out. These grenades. Okay. I haven't exactly used that many of them, but that is by choice. All right. Hey, Basil. Fight for the front. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fight for the front and freedom. Move out. Mm hmm. Here's our medic. Really complex files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon. We haven't qualified for another one yet. I'm here for gun shoot, though. Let's try a teleporter beacon. Let's show that off. Help. When and where you need it. Okay. How am I looking on energy cells? Pretty bad. Ammo as a whole is pretty rough, except for grenades, of course. Missiles. Missiles are pretty good. Let me check to see how much this stuff gives me. If I buy an energy pot, is that just going to be like the singular energy pot that's behind him that drops from a crusader? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Alright, yeah. Okay, I can work with that. Yeah. Alright. Sure. I don't feel ripped off. I do have all of this gold that's burning a hole in my pocket. There's our teleporter beacon there. Of course, we have tons of gold that we can spend, so it's, like, it's not that big of a deal. As a matter of fact, I'll even buy another one. 
Because I'm going to need that for close quarters eliminations of uh, Crusaders, Templars, and that new thing that we saw. I think that's an Inquisitor, but the instruction manual is not in reach right now. That might be something else. Okay. Thanks for opening the door for me, champ. And I guess we might as well check this. I'm gonna run all the way back to Tarnhill. But I'm pretty certain those places are closed and are going to stay closed forever. Because of what happened in the tavern. People trying to take some free shots at me as I run past. Oh, no! Right! Hey! <laughs> Guess you guys got over it. That's good. Give me two of these. Splinted. I don't need anything from you folks. I could buy an ammo box, but... Well... How much does 50 bullets really do for you? It's 50. 50 shots. And how much does 50 shots really do for you? The face of the opposition we're facing. But, you know... I'm a mercenary, and I'm doing this with the, for the money, but I can't exactly, like, take this money with me into the afterlife. Well, good, we can open this now. Great. Delightful. And while I could just take the teleporter, we're right here. And it's only a short trip. We'll find some supplies there. That beautiful water current, everyone. I was playing uh, Left 4 Dead 2 recently with a couple of folks. Ain't no water current in Left 4 Dead 2. Game came out 13 years before that. Ooh. Yeah. These are just places where I was full on medicals at the time. Obviously, I could buy those, too. It's, they're not that expensive, particularly considering the money that I have. But the cash is a limited resource. It's not like I can fucking go out into the forest and grind gremlins or whatever to get more money to buy more potions and tonics or whatever the fuck you want to call them. We're stuck with what we got. And that, presumably, is going to be our new zone that we go to. The nebulous future, which is not now. Yes, I know. I'm the bad man. Yes. Let's save. This group doesn't want to turn around here too fast and follow the instant dev zone and all the past several minutes be for nothing. Hi, how's it going? The way is now open to us. I didn't leave anything back here, did I? There might be a medical kit or like a medical patch that got left behind for like a core area that was over here. You know what, I'm actually gonna check. Not terribly exciting, I know. Would have been in here. This is where we found the metal armor. Nah, okay. Resource management. We have limited resources, everyone. I gotta be responsible. Damn it. Wait, the Oracle said we would know him by his symbol of power. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. But we could always throw down a super weapon. Enemies are not aggroed on me yet. Why don't we, considering the length of the episode, the fact that we've just entered this new area, why don't we save this for next time? As I infiltrate the Bishop's Tower. We'll talk to you then.